mentality is your yeah. result. Shri Ayer, how do you rebut that? And how do you respond to that? And, and what is your first reaction to this uh, survey and its result? No surprises that no surprises that Modi scores high. But I have one small observation to make. The regional players such as Akhilesh Yadav and Mata, in a twisted way, they did uh, deliver on their promises. You know, Akhilesh Yadav said, you know, free run to certain segments of the society, and that's what happened during his reign. And and the same goes for Mamta Banerjee. They have gone the extra yard. In fact, the extra mile. And you should also try putting Mr. Chandrasekhar Rao in this. He promised 12% reservation for the Muslims. And then he even uh, enacted legislation, never mind the legality of it. Right? So, uh, what I'm trying to say is perhaps on this one question, since it is a pan India poll, and you know, across India, maybe they don't know the regional politicians' poll promises and their deliverance record, perhaps that's why it is showing so low on the others. Okay, let me uh, quickly... ...in the money, how you will... Okay, Shri Ayer also coming. Uh, KC Sharma, you made your promise. point. Shri Ayer also coming. If coming. you can give me just 20 seconds. If yes. you can just give me 20 seconds. Yeah. Now, the, the poor promises that uh, Congress made while uh, electioneering in Karnataka or in Madhya Pradesh, such as, you know, uh, uh, letting go of all the farmer loans, the, the, the implementation has been far, far less than what was promised. So that is one problem for them because this directly impacts Rahul Gandhi. These were Rahul Gandhi's promises. Now, if you go back to Garibi Hatao, one of the promises that Indira Gandhi had made was that she was going to bring in Land Reform Act. In fact, only one state chief minister tried to implement that, had partial success, and he was rewarded by being fired from the post of Chief Minister, Mr. P. V. Narsimha in Andhra Pradesh. You see, so this, this, this whole thing, people have long memories. They remember what the Congress says and what they do. So I think that may have also had a, a factor in this uh, particular uh, uh, poll fighting. No. Before I come to that uh, particular question, on the question of Smriti Irani beating Rahul Gandhi. Now, perception-wise, 43% say yes, certainly. 30% say yes, perhaps. Only 12% saying very unlikely, and another 12 say no chance. Now, Shri Ayer, how do you react to that? Is this mere perception that Smriti Irani has been able to create, uh, also, you know, which is not being helped by the fact that Rahul Gandhi this time wants to, cons uh, you know, fight on two seats, which obviously Smriti is using on Twitter to attack him as saying that he's running away from Amethi. Now, is this mere perception or is there a realistic chance, Shri Ayer, that Rahul Gandhi can be defeated in his home bastion of Amethi, which the family has held for so many years? There is a body of work to show that Smriti Rani has actually nurtured her constituency, even though she was not elected from there. You see, before 2014, she was not a minister, and therefore she was some sort of an unknown entity for the electorate. But after she became the minister, she has spent a considerable amount of time, expended resources, and has done some tangible good for her constituency. So there was never any doubt that she was going to come back to the same constituency. And therefore, I think the, ref the results reflect that. And by the way, on the previous time, I don't hold the card for any party. I'm a neutral voice. I just went by facts. Karnataka and Madhya Pradesh, the Congress government has not delivered on its full promise. Shubranj. Shubranj. Second category. All right. Let me uh, quickly uh, get in a quick response from uh, Shri Ayer before I take a quick break. Yes, Shri Ayer. You know, nobody prevented Rahul Gandhi from going on social media and be more interactive, come out with all his ideas and answer all the questions that come his way. If Modi is doing that, you can't blame him against for that. So the point I'm trying to make is he's a better communicator. He has tried hard. I'm not happy with his record on corruption. He has not jailed any single VVIP. Be, be that as it may, but at least he has tried. And, and we need to give him some more time to try and make sure that he comes through with some of the promises that he made in the 2014 election. And that's why I think, uh, that's what I think. Five seconds to you.